What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. A little chilly, a little damp this morning. Got in the wife's Explorer. Got some errands to run and of course, what do you know? Empty. Empty. She's always leaving the gas tank, gas tank empty or just conveniently when I'm going to be uh, driving the vehicle, obviously. The car is in the garage this morning. Oh, I forgot. Community yard sale. I don't think there's anything I need here. It's also been a minute or two since I've messed around with this Explorer, so I got the draggy with me. I want to see what this thing can do. It's been a little while. I don't know if you guys remember, if you've been following along uh, for quite a while, when we first got this, I took this thing out and did a couple 0 to 60 pulls and ran a 5.8. 5.8 0 to 60 in a 5,000 pound truck. I think they're like 4,800 pounds or something like that. I, I might be wrong. It might even be heavier than that. But uh, I just thought that was super impressive, especially considering there's a lot of Q50s out there, three sevens that are running, you know, 5.2 uh, 0 to 60. So 5.8 in a big old SUV. Pretty stout. Well, first stop of the day at O'Reilly's. I'm gonna try to find some pins, some wire pins, so I don't have to splice wires anymore. I just wanna pin them right into the clips, but we got a couple of characters per usual here at O'Reilly's Simpsonville. Well, they did not have what I needed, nor did they have anything that I found that I wanted. So, left O'Reilly's empty-handed. Let's go get some gas and rip this thing. All right, we got it all sprayed off too. Thought I'd clean it up a little bit while we're out here. Just getting connected to the Draggy. I'm a little bit ticked off. I accidentally deleted my Draggy app, so all of my Q50 times, and I had just done a couple of eighth mile passes um, in Mexico, of course. And uh, now I can't even remember what the number was, but I'm pissed because I lost all of that info. I actually forget how sick this thing is every once in a while. I don't drive it uh, much on my own. Usually just running errands with the wife. So I don't, you know, I can't beat on it too much when she's with, obviously, but the light bar looks dope. Yeah, she's sick. Let's rip this thing, see what's up. So the first one, I'll just keep it in just the standard drive mode and I'll let it shift itself. I don't have my camera mount here, so I'm just gonna hold the the phone with the draggy on it. And then we'll try sand mode because I guess that's the best that's the best one for running. Uh, it's relatively cool. We shouldn't have any problems with grip. Obviously all wheel drive in this bad boy. And I know the turn twin turbos that like the cooler temps. Let's just see what kind of launch we can get here. A little bit of brake boosting. Woo. Not much for brakes on this thing. <laughs> Damn. try to go for the eighth but there's no brakes there but 6.24 uh, pretty solid especially considering how big the vehicle is and like I said my best was 5.8 something 5.87 or 5.89, something like that uh, before, so not too far off. Next one, surprisingly not a lot different uh, having it in sport mode, traction control off. Again, this one's valid and the other one wasn't, but we're literally on the same piece of road. This thing su sounds surprisingly good too. I don't know if it picks it up very well or not, but. Ooh, 
got some debris. I also got a new Bronco behind me and it just, I mean the front end looks really cool, but oh, they are so small, the, the base model. Oh, ew. I wonder if you can see it in the mirror. Probably not. Should be coming up beside me here. What do you think? I'm just a little surprised actually, flabbergasted you might say, at how small those new Broncos actually are. The shape, like I said, the front end looks really cool, uh, but once you get up beside them or they come up behind you and you get sort of a, a, little, more uh, a little more perspective, uh, you know, and actually get your eyes on the thing, how small they are. Uh, now again, that's not the, the big, you know, beefy Timberland or whatever the hell they're calling some of those other ones. Uh, you know it's the base model so they're a little bit small the wheels are small the tires are you know highway tires they're just not all that impressive now, the color on that one was pretty cool but i don't know i, I gotta see one outfitted properly uh, to get a good feeling because you know uh, those wranglers you know wranglers aren't all that impressive either when they're just kind of little you know base model wranglers off the factory floor and they've never been very impressive vehicles once, once you beef them up you know, you put a, a brush guard on them, some lights on them, a little bit of a lift, some, you know, 32s, 35s, get a little beefier, knobbier, all-terrain or mud tire on them. It makes a huge difference. So uh, my fingers are crossed, but as I said in a recent video, I'm glad that I didn't make the list to purchase some of the first ones out. Uh, I got to let this play out a little bit, see what, see what happens down the road. Picked up a few items from Lowe's too, working on our stairs. Uh, so these would be the stair treads for the landing. A couple little uh, backing panels, it's gonna look sharp. A little bit of carpentry as well, so you can see the treads and the white risers. And I'm putting the final little piece of trim on the bottom here, then we'll be painting to match the walls. Not sure what color we're gonna do the wood yet. We may stain it and we may end up painting it not quite sure, but it looks fresh. Uh, I was not sure I was going to show you guys this, but this is going to be coming up and it's going to be fun. That's all I know. I'm uh, looking forward to it. It's kind of spur of the moment thing, but I thought, why the heck not? Yes, sir. You can't tell already. Cutouts, baby. <laughs> this is going to be pretty dope. I got it uh, hooked up to a power source right now. Uh, I just wanted to test it out. So there's a little control box. Obviously, that's the sends the wireless signal from your little key fob. So. Uh, Take a look here. Hit the unlock button. Boom. Opens the valve. And then the lock button. Closes her back up. Moves pretty fast. Um, this is going to be sick. Uh, stick around for this one. This is probably going to be, it'll probably be next month. Um, I would say three, four weeks. Uh, we'll mess around with these and um, it's, it should be a fun video. So stick around for that. Uh, are we rolling? Yes, sir. Okay, this is unexpected because this wasn't supposed to be in for another week. But shipments from China are unpredictable. Any guesses what it is? Engine? An engine. Yeah. It was heavy when I was carrying it in. <laughs> you are ridiculous. Muffler? No. Ooh, a custom seat rack with your name on it. I would never do that. Oh. Jeez Louise, Can man. you do that for my car? Custom seat cover? Yeah, with my name on it. No. I've been needing them. Uh, 
I actually made a mistake. That looks like a seat cover. Or floor mat. That's a floor mat? New That's huge. floor mats. But the mistake I made is that I bought the wrong damn ones. I brought the wrong pattern. I did not want the... The screen turned black. I did not want okay. the diamond ones. I wanted the other ones, but I got impatient. And I ordered these. But I guess we'll have to see how they look. Not terrible, but... Well, that was probably the easiest installation. I didn't want to save this item for a, a dedicated installation video, but so I just went ahead and put them in. But you can see they actually fit pretty well. Um, I have to just let it rest a little bit and get some of these creases out, like this one here. But other than that, it's not too bad. Uh, fits fits well. I think it's a little excessive, to be honest. I. I was never really a fan of the uh, the diamond texture. It's just a little much for me. I mean, it's a luxury sort of car, but you know, the way I have it set up, it's more of a, a sports car, a performance car, and having some like, you know, elegant design details like this is just kind of nonsense to me. And that's what I say, I made a mistake. I, I had a couple of different ones in my, in my cart, and uh, I was gonna get the one the ones with the horizontal lines and I'll put a picture and a link in the description to those I think they look a lot better uh, they fit the vibe of the car a little bit better than these um, so I'm a little bit disappointed in myself but whatever these are a nice little touch I needed new floor mats I think they look good but another thing that I think is excessive is how much they cover I wouldn't have minded just the regular floor mats um, but the fact that they go up and do all of this jazz it's just a little much for me uh, but it looks decent and they fit good like i said they they kind of can tuck right up under these little trim pieces here uh, they got these little tabs uh, these little buttons here that flip up on the underside and tuck up underneath your trim piece um, to hold everything in place once these relax a little bit i'll take some more pictures and videos but i think they'll look a lot better uh, but so far so good here on the passenger side driver's side looks good too um, and it fits with the aftermarket seat which one thing that kind of sucks is that it covers up my new sport dead pedal I mean that kind of completed the vibe right uh, and then that gets covered up so that kind of blows we still need to find figure out if there's something we can do with this e-brake maybe I'll just take the pad off but again it fits pretty good on this side I do like that they have more of a hard kind of rubberized uh, pad here uh, this part gets worn out from your heel, obviously, uh, resting there, so I like that. Uh, we'll see how long this lasts. It's, I got white because it stands out, you know, the white letters. But uh, we'll just have to be more cognizant of where we put our feet when we get in this car now. But I think it, it made for a decent purchase and uh, a good opportunity to review a product that a bunch of people were telling me to get. Let's take a look at the back seat. Well, just like the front, the back seat fits pretty well as well a nice little infinity logo here in the middle um, it kind of fits in a complete sort of bucket it comes up against the 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 uh, front of the rear seat here tucks really far under the passenger seat and you get this little extra leg here that kind of completes the look makes it look like it's actual uh, interior so pretty cool overall i think front and back look look good in combination together like I said I needed floor mats so uh, this will do for now uh, to be quite honest I would have been just fine with factory replacement like I guess so this is a little a little much flash for me but made for a decent ending to this video I'll say that well guys I have no idea where this video went uh, the trajectory of it how it started at this point several days after I started making it uh, but I appreciate you watching nonetheless and I guess it ended in a way that was as good as I could have expected with a part arriving here when I got back from work on Tuesday afternoon. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions about these formats, uh, let me know. Again, the the fitment is pretty decent. They're under a hundred bucks. Uh, I got mine from Amazon. The weight is a little bit long, but could be worth it for you. Again, the ones with the horizontal marks, I'll leave a link in the description below to those two. Those I think would have been my preference, but I can't talk about how they fit. She's gonna back out of the garage by herself right now. It's here, it's my car it's right there. Off to a good start. Stop. Straight. We did it. Anyways, back to the story. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate the continued support. Onward up for the channel. Good things to come. Summer 2021 is going to be exciting. So thank you guys for following along. We'll see you in the next one.